The following table shows data for the stock of JKU and market index. Expected return of JKU, expected return of market index, risk free rate, standard deviation of JKU return, standard deviation of market index return, correlation of JKU and market index return. Question is based on the capital asset pricing model, JKU is most likely undervalued fairly valued or overvalued. In relationship between beta and expected return, there is direct line relationship and this line is called security market line. Security market line is representing required return and required return can be calculated by CAPM as risk-free rate plus beta and market premium as expected return of market minus risk-free rate. In this question, risk-free rate is 5%, 0.05, and we can calculate beta and expected market return is 12% 0.12 minus risk free rate 0 0.05 we can calculate beta as correlation between stock and market multiplied by standard deviation of stock JKU divided by standard deviation of market. The table provided correlation as 0.75 and standard deviation of stock is 20%, 0.2 and standard deviation of market index as 15%, 0.15. So beta of stock becomes 1. So let's plug the number. Then required return becomes 0 0.05 plus 1 multiplied by 0 0.12 minus 0 0.05 equals 0 0.12. So when the stock beta is 1, Required return is 0 0.12. And table provided expected return of a stock is 15%. So expected return is above SLL line. So when stock ex um, required return is over security market line, stock is undervalued.